In this video, we will explore the complex nature of chronic heart failure, a condition that affects many individuals. We will discuss the causes, symptoms, and complications of this condition, as well as the different treatment options available. This video will provide healthcare professionals with important information on how to effectively manage heart failure, including the use of medications, combining therapies, addressing comorbidities, exploring new treatment approaches, educating patients, promoting medication adherence, and encouraging lifestyle modifications. Taking a multidisciplinary approach is crucial for ensuring positive outcomes in heart failure management. In chronic heart failure, impaired cardiac function leads to reduced contractility and increased afterload. This triggers compensatory mechanisms, but they become maladaptive over time. Pharmacological interventions aim to target these mechanisms and improve cardiac function, reduce symptoms, and prevent disease progression. Heart failure is classified as heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, FREF, or preserved ejection fraction, FPEF, based on ejection fraction. Staging using the NEHA functional classification system helps guide treatment decisions, allowing personalized pharmacological therapy for optimal patient outcomes. ACE inhibitors are a cornerstone of heart failure management and have been extensively studied for their efficacy and safety. These medications inhibit the conversion of angiotensin I to angiotensin II, thereby reducing vasoconstriction and aldosterone secretion. By inhibiting the ROS, ACE inhibitors promote vasodilation, decrease afterload, and reduce fluid retention. These pharmacological effects lead to improved cardiac function, reduced symptoms, and decreased mortality in patients with heart failure. Additionally, ACE inhibitors have been shown to have beneficial effects on ventricular remodeling. However, ACE inhibitors may cause adverse effects such as hypotension, renal dysfunction, and cough. It is crucial to monitor patients closely and adjust the dosage as necessary. In patients intolerant to ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers ARBs, offer an alternative pharmacological approach to inhibit the effects of angiotensin II. ARBs block the angiotensin II type 1 receptor, preventing vasoconstriction and aldosterone release. Similar to ACE inhibitors, ARBs reduce afterload, improve cardiac function, and attenuate ventricular remodeling. Studies have shown that ARBs are equally effective as ACE inhibitors in reducing mortality and hospitalizations in patients with heart failure, particularly those with FREF. While ARBs are generally well tolerated, they may cause hyperkalemia and renal impairment. Regular monitoring of laboratory parameters is necessary to ensure patient safety. Beta blockers, also known as beta adrenergic receptor blockers, are important in treating heart failure. They block the effects of hormones like norepinephrine and epinephrine on the heart, leading to improved heart function, reduced symptoms, and lower mortality rates. Starting with low doses and gradually increasing is essential for optimal results. Diuretics are important in treating heart failure by reducing excess fluid. Loop diuretics like furosemide are commonly used and work by increasing urine production. Thiazide diuretics like hydrochlorothiazide have a milder effect. However, careful use is necessary to prevent electrolyte imbalances. Aldosterone antagonists, such as spironolactone and aplerinone, are pharmacological agents that block the mineralocorticoid receptor in the distal tubules of the kidneys. These medications have demonstrated significant benefits in heart failure management. By blocking aldosterone, aldosterone antagonists reduce sodium and water retention, decrease myocardial fibrosis, and attenuate ventricular remodeling. They also exert cardioprotective effects by preventing potassium and magnesium loss and reducing oxidative stress. However, caution should be exercised when prescribing aldosterone antagonists, as they can cause hyperkalemia and renal impairment. Regular monitoring of potassium levels and renal function is essential. Vasodilators play a vital role in managing heart failure by promoting arterial and venous dilation, thereby reducing cardiac workload and improving symptoms. Two commonly used vasodilators in heart failure are hydrolazine and nitrates. Hydrolazine acts directly on vascular smooth muscle, causing arteriolar dilation. This decreases systemic vascular resistance and afterload, promoting improved cardiac function. Nitrates, such as nitroglycerin, promote venous dilation and reduce preload, further relieving symptoms. Vasodilators are particularly beneficial in patients with FREF, African-American patients, or those who cannot tolerate ACE inhibitors or ARBs. However, they should be used cautiously, as hypotension can occur. In heart failure management, combination therapy involving multiple pharmacological agents is often necessary to address the multifactorial nature of the disease. Combinations of ACE inhibitors or ARBs, beta blockers, and aldosterone antagonists have been shown to provide additive benefits in reducing mortality and hospitalizations. 
tailoring combination therapy based on individual patient characteristics, such as ejection fraction, symptoms, and comorbidities, is crucial for optimizing treatment outcomes. Regular follow-up and monitoring of patients on combination therapy are essential to ensure efficacy and safety. Heart failure often coexists with comorbidities, including hypertension, diabetes, atrial fibrillation, and kidney disease. Managing these conditions is crucial for improving heart failure outcomes. This involves using antihypertensive medications, controlling blood sugar and diabetes, anticoagulation for atrial fibrillation, and optimizing kidney function. A holistic approach is necessary for addressing comorbidities. Advancements in heart failure treatment include angiotensin receptor neprilysin inhibitors, ARNIs, like sacubitril valsartan which improve outcomes by inhibiting neprilysin and enhancing the effects of natriuretic peptides. Sodium glucose cotransporter 2, SGLT2, inhibitors, initially for diabetes, have also shown positive effects on heart failure outcomes. Ongoing research aims to discover new treatments. In summary, patient education, medication adherence, and lifestyle modifications are crucial in the pharmacological management of chronic heart failure. Healthcare professionals should provide comprehensive education on medication regimen, side effects, and lifestyle changes. Regular follow-up visits and multidisciplinary collaboration are also important for optimal patient outcomes. In conclusion, treating heart failure with drugs involves understanding its causes, types, and available treatments. Key drugs include ACE inhibitors, ARBs, beta blockers, diuretics, aldosterone antagonists, vasodilators, and combinations. Managing other conditions, educating patients, promoting adherence, and lifestyle changes also improve outcomes. Continuous learning and holistic care are crucial for healthcare professionals.